Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lambda Test. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate the test with the help of Playwright Code Gen and then followed by, we are going to learn how to um, save the execution, test execution as a video format. For example, in test automation, mostly we rely on the test report where we have the screenshots and based on the screenshots, we can confirm like the expected and the actual similarly if i want to see the the flow of my test execution as a video format we can do that very easily with the help of playwright so let's learn both the concepts today we are in the day six but i have renamed the package to record video so that you will understand the code easily when you see this on github okay and here we are going to first do the code gen so if i go to the documentation if i go to like playwright for java then followed by the docs and the test generator you can see like we have this command so with the help of this command we can uh, use the code gen okay so i'm just going to copy that and if i go to my uh, project just right click on your project and you can use this option like show in local terminal Either you can go with the git bash which I recommend most of the time or else the terminal. If you don't have the git bash of course you can use the terminal. Let's use this as well. Okay. And then you can just right click and paste and here you can select we have this maven command. So if you remember when we did our installation video we have also configured the maven. Right. So if you go to your command prompt and if you give mvn dash version you must see something like this the version doesn't really matter it can be like 3.8 or 3.9 that is also fine okay but of course you should be able to see this option or else you won't get this uh cogen feature and if you're not getting this just see our first video where i have discussed how to do this okay now here we have very simple command like maven execution then followed by the targeted class which is like your playwright cli command line interface and then we have the argument as code gen which is used to generate the code and then followed by the website so here we are going to give our demo website which is uh, this one e-commerce from uh, lambda test playground okay so let's go and take this particular url and i'm going to paste over here okay so we are going to perform the login and logout with some edit like edit a field okay so when we run for the first time you might see some additional information like it's going to download few of the packages from the maven repository but as i already have this i'm not getting but if you're doing it for the first time of course you will see that okay so not a problem it might take like three or five seconds and then you can select we have this chromium browser along with that we have a new window which is playwright inspector Playwright inspector is really good like you can uh, just record you can find the elements and we can do few other options as well like with this we can do the debugging as well i will talk about this in some another video now let's focus on the code gen so here i'm just going to uh, give the flow what i'm going to do like what my test case is for example first of all i will go to the my account and there i'm going to enter my credentials the email id and the password okay so let me copy the uh, email id from here and then i'm going to give my password and then i'm going to click on this login button once i am logged in i'm going to navigate to this particular uh, edit account information section so i'm just going to click on this and whenever i do mouse over you can see like we have this get by role which already we have discussed like uh, there is a get by placeholder get by locator get by uh, i mean get by role get by text all those are there right so i'll explain that in a moment and here i'm going to give like chatter chatterji my full i mean the last name and uh, and then i'm going to click on this continue button once that is done here you can see like we have a success message like we have to verify this but of course the code gen cannot write the code to do the verification so i'm just going to do the click action so that this locator will be there on my code gen and i can modify to do the assertion okay then i'm going to mouse hover on this my account and then i'm going to do the 
logout so if i do the logout i mean if i click the logout button of course it's going to do the logout then let's say that i want to verify this as well so i'll just do the click action here now if i go to my playwright inspector here you can see like whatever we have done now everything is recorded so we got the locators we got the actions like click the type the fill all the actions are there and beauty part is like this playwright inspector can generate multiple language binding so already we know that playwright can be written with the help of java typescript javascript the dotnet python right so if you go to this target and if you go and select like something else you will see like we are getting all this thing so this is the typescript playwright test runner code which is really good and very easy but yeah if you know java java is also going to be very good for you okay then we have the pytest code we have the dotnet like you can go with ms test n unit or the library so based on a requirement you can generate so the code will be generated once but of course you can use that for your multiple language binding as well okay and before closing this inspector make sure you are going to copy everything so if you click on this this will be like this will copy all your codes okay copy and then close your inspector close your browser if you go to the terminal you can see it's already ended okay now within the package i'm going to just create a uh, dummy class like login logout and then i'm going to paste my code here and of course i need this one so let me replace this let me remove this and then what we need we yeah that's it okay we are pretty much done uh, this utility is not required for now so i can just remove this as well and here you can see like we got our entire code now here you can see like we have this try with resource if you do not know just you can just remove this um try with resource in the sense like the resource like the here we can see like we have like playwright and playwright so this will be closed automatically once the program is done but we can also trigger that manually so i can say like here like playwright dot dot close which is also uh works fine okay and few of the things you might notice here new for example this like area roll button so this is similar to what we have learned already so for example if i go to this launch browser our day to learning so here you can select we have used the x path along with that we have also used this like get by placeholder similarly we have like get by role where we can say like what is this and what is the account i mean what is the text for example i can remove this junk character actually so if i go to my application here you can see like we have this my account and if i go to the login page here we can see like we have a button called login i mean this is a button with the text login right so if you go here you can see like uh, we have this area role by button and then we have the text called login okay so this is how we can find the elements okay and here you will notice few of the other things as well for example we are doing the click on the email address but is that necessary not really we can just pass the credential so i can remove this and here also for the password and then we are doing the login and once we are done with the login we are just going to like edit your account information section and last name we don't have to click we can change this and i can remove this so i typed first strongly then i just did like left right arrow and then i changed this to this characters right so this things not required i can simply delete all those and here we have this button with continue so we are doing the click action and then this one so like once we do the changes we are getting the success message do we have to click this definitely not we have to do the assertion how to do it is very simple i can store this as a web element for example let's name it like success message and then i can assert that right so here i can say like assert that success message and it should be visible so i can say like is visible that's it very easy right then we have the logout but before doing the logout what we have to we have to uh, mouse hover on the my account right so if you go here you can see like already we have the my account uh, located so i can just store that as a my account 
and here of course we have to do the click action or also we can do the hover but let's go with the click here and here i have to definitely do the hover not the click right so here before clicking on the logout i will just do like my account dot hover mouse over option right and here we are just verifying the account is logging so of course click is not correct here so i'll just remove those and i'll say like logout header something like that so this is my header so logout header and this should be visible so i can just do the accession one more time okay so that's it we are pretty much done i'm just going to change this to c so that we'll see some changes okay now let's go and run this let's see how our code gen is going to work So it's going to the login page, it's going to enter the credentials, the edit field is done, success message is there, mouse over is done, logout is also done. So the playwright code gen is pretty pretty good. Okay. So that's it, we are done with the code gen learning. So code gen is what? It's basically going to help us to write the code quicker. But some limitations are also there. For example, it doesn't record the mouse hover states. It doesn't record the interaction with drop downs and maybe a few other things has to be there but yeah if you start using this you will find this is really helpful compared to at least i can say like it is better than selenium uh, id okay um, yeah now we are going to learn the second topic that is how to record the video so for example here we have like browser from the browser we are getting the new context within the new context what we have to do is we have to so here we have to select new then followed by context new context option actually it should be so new context options dot and here we have to import this new context option from the browser so if i give like control one and here you can select we have this suggestion so it should be like from the browser we have to import the new context options we will get the new context options from the api as well so always make sure you are going to do the correct import then we have to say like um, record video so this is set record video directory okay so we have to specify the directory like where we want to set the uh, like we want to store the output so for that we are going to again use the paths dot get and then followed by i can say like uh, videos so there will be a folder called videos which will create and then it will store the things okay and yeah that's it actually pretty much done and you have to close the context as well so let's do that so playwright dot close before that we'll say like page dot close and then followed by the browser dot close okay and also the context so first of all we'll say like context Playwright dot close it's enough I guess but just for safety I'll just use all the three options okay um, so let's go and run this let's see what happens The execution is completed so let's go and see our project explore just go and refresh so here you can select we got this video folder now i'm going to open this uh in a system explorer and the format will be like webm so like mp4 mp3 like we have this webm format so if you go and open this you can see we got the total execution but yeah the clarity is not good right so you can see the total uh, execution flow is there as a video format but the clarity is missing so what we can do is we can improve the clarity so for that uh, i can simply say like after this i can say like set video um, set record video size okay and here we have to give the video size so for example we can say like new record video size and then i can say like 1280 maybe something like that 
so here i can say like Twelve eighty, then followed by like seven twenty, maybe the ST size. Okay, so you can go and give like other sizes as well, but this is good, I guess, so that the uh, video's file size will be also a little less. Okay, so earlier we have a file size around like five sixty KB. Now we have like ST seven twenty P video. Let's see what the size is going to be. so that's it now let's go to the same folder and if i refresh you can see like we got it and now it's like around 850 kb so if i go and open this you can see like now the clarity is good compared to the previous video right so this is what i meant okay so that's it we are pretty much done with the learning so what we have learned is basically how to generate the code test code with the help of code gen and also how to record the video size and you don't have to do all this just call the playwright.close that should also be sufficient while running only one test but if you have multiple tests it's going to be different i will teach that in different video another video okay so just to give you a quick recap we can just go to our uh, playwright website we can copy this argument change the url you launch this in your terminal that's it code gen will start working and to do the record video within the new context okay so make sure like uh, when we launch the browser we know that we will get the uh, browser from the browser we can use the new context and within the context we can set like where we want to save our video as well as the video size then uh, we'll get the from the context we'll get the new page and with the page you know what to do that's it very simple okay if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply see you in the next one later bye bye take care